In this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how you can create swipeable Instagram carousel feeds like this in just a few minutes with no coding needed. The best way to create an Instagram carousel feed is by using the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. To purchase the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. Once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin. Download Instagram Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Installing Instagram Feed Pro is just like installing any other plugin. On the left-hand side, hover over plugins and click on add new. Then click on upload plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Instagram Feed Pro right here. Just like this and click on install now. Once the plugin has been installed, you can go ahead and activate the plugin as well. And there we go, Instagram Feed Pro has now been installed. But before we go and create our Instagram carousel feed, let's go and activate our license key. On the left hand side, you'll now notice Instagram feed. Hover over it like this and click on settings. Now inside settings, beside license key, we can paste the license key we got from smashbloom.com like this and click activate. As you can see, our license key for Instagram feed pro is now active. So we can begin creating our Instagram carousel feed. On the left hand side under Instagram feed, click on all feeds. Then click on add new. With Instagram feed pro, you can create several different feed types. For example, you can create a feed of posts from any user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, and a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. For this video, we're gonna go with user timeline. It's already selected for us here. So we can go and click on next. And on this tip, we'll have to add a source for our Instagram feed. Click add source. And on this tip, you can specify whether your Instagram account is a personal or a business account. The account we'll be using is a business account. So I'll select it like this. And it's asking us if we've connected a Facebook account with the plugin before. I'm gonna select no. And then I'm gonna click on connect with Facebook. This will take you into Facebook and you'll see all the Instagram accounts associated with your Facebook account. Select the Instagram account you wanna display on your feed like this and then click on next. You'll also have to select the Facebook accounts associated with that Instagram account. Select it like this and click on next once again. Lastly, it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook account. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on your behalf. So it's completely safe. Go ahead and click on done and then click on okay. And here you'll get a security confirmation asking if you wanna connect your Instagram account with this domain. Just click on yes, it's my domain and proceed. And back inside Instagram Feed Pro, you should now see that Instagram account you've just connected with Smash Balloon. You can select it like this and click on Add, and then select it as a source and click on Next. With Instagram Feed Pro, you also have several different templates for the appearance of your feed. For example, we have the default, Simple Grid, Simple Grid Excel, Simple Row, Masonry Cards, and more below. For this example, since we're creating a swipeable Instagram carousel feed, let's go with Simple Carousel and then click on Next. And instantly you'll see a live preview of your brand new, beautiful Instagram feed. As you can see, it's got the latest post for our Instagram account and it's completely swipeable like this. You can now go ahead and embed your Instagram feed on your web page or as a widget. But before I show you how to do that, let me first show you how to customize your feed. On the left hand side, under the customize tab, click on feed layout. Here you'll find options to modify the layout of your feed. The carousel layout is selected for us here, which displays all of your posts in a swipeable carousel as we saw earlier. Alternatively, you can go with the grid layout which displays all of your posts in rows and columns. And then we have the masonry layout, which is again a rows and columns layout, but it displays all of your posts in their original sizes. And lastly, we have the highlight layout, which highlights specific posts on your feed like this. Proceeding with the carousel layout, if you look down below, we can also specify how many rows we want in the carousel. Currently, we only have one row, but if you wanna change that, you can drop this down and even change it into two rows. And once the change is made, you can see it instantly reflected in the live preview on the right-hand side. And below that, you can also choose if you wanna show the navigation arrows, and the pagination down below over here. You can easily turn them off by clicking on them like this. And lastly, you can also enable autoplay, which means it will automatically swipe through your feed like this. I'm gonna change this back into one row. And once you're happy with the layout of your feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you wanna modify how your posts are displayed in your feed, go into post on the left-hand side, then go into post style. And as you can see currently, we have a regular post style, which doesn't constrain any of the content inside your post, including the caption, likes, and comments. But if we go and select the boxed style, you can now see that there's a card-like outline for each individual post. And if you make any changes to the post style, you can go and click on save on the top right corner. With Instagram Feed Pro, you can also modify the color palette. To do this, go into color scheme on the left-hand side. As you can see currently, it's set to inherit from theme. This means that your feed will be created to automatically match your website's design. Alternatively, you can go with a light layout, a dark layout, or even a custom layout where you can specify the exact colors you want for your feed like this. Once you're happy with your color scheme, go and click on save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to customize your Instagram feed, we can go and embed it onto our WordPress website. To do this, go and click on embed on the top right corner, copy the dedicated shortcode for your feed, and then click on add to a page. Select the page you wanna add your feed to like this and click on add. Now on our web page, you have two different options to embed your Instagram feed. You can either use a shortcode block like this and paste the shortcode we copied, 
Or we can use our dedicated Instagram feed block for block editor like this. And instantly we can see our brand new Instagram carousel feed inside our web page. Now we can go ahead and publish this and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are on our live web page and right in the middle you can see our brand new Instagram feed showing the latest posts from our Instagram account in the carousel layout. So when a visitor arrives on your website, they can choose how much they interact with your posts by swiping through them like this. And if you wanted to embed your Instagram feed onto the sidebar or footer of your website, you can do that as well. Let me show you. Back inside the plugin, I've just gone ahead and changed the template to the simple post carousel. Once again, we can go and click on embed on the top right corner. We can copy our shortcode, but this time instead of clicking on add to a page, click on add to a widget instead. And this brings us into the WordPress widgets menu. For this video, let's add our Instagram carousel feed to the sidebar of our website, which is over here. To do this, we have the same two options as before. We can either use the shortcode block and paste the shortcode we copied, or we can use our Instagram feed block for block editor once again. And instantly you can see a live preview right inside the widget as well. We can go ahead and click on update and let's go check out what it looks like on the front end. And back on our live web page, right in the middle, you can see that Instagram carousel feed we created earlier and you can swipe through the post just like this. But now on the right hand side, you'll also notice inside our sidebar, we have another Instagram carousel feed as well. This one fits perfectly inside our sidebar and once again, the posts are swipeable too. So you've now learned how to add an Instagram carousel feed both to your web page and to the sidebar as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.